More humid hot temperatures are on the way too. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 80s, even in the mid 90s coming up. These types of temps mean you or your family could be at risk of heat exhaustion. Reporter Natalie Gomez checks in with paramedics on how to stay safe while enjoying the sun. A nice summer day means spending more time outside, but too much sun can be bad for your health. We're outside, we're enjoying activities, doing different things, and it's, it's real easy to get, uh, get dehydrated without even knowing. Whatever energy you might be exerting outside, it's important to be aware of how much you're sweating. Any dizziness, nausea, muscle cramps, or headaches. These are all signs of heat exhaustion. It's going to start with your heat cramps. The muscles will start to cramp up a little bit. Um, you're sweating profusely. If this does happen, stay calm because it can easily be reversed. want to make sure that you remove yourself from the heat uh, first and foremost and then try to cool off. Loosen any tight clothes, take off your shoes, and maybe put a cool rag around your neck. Do the same if you're helping someone else out. Sip water, you know, and just try to replace your fluids as fast as you can. Staying hydrated is key to prevent heat exhaustion from occurring in the first place. Food can also help. High water content foods, you know, your, your, your fruits, um, some leafy greens, uh, lettuce. Avoid soda and alcoholic beverages. A lot of those will take the fluids out of your system and will assist in the dehydration process. But if you are enjoying a nice cold beer, make sure to also sip some water. Anything you're taking out of your body, you're putting back in with by way of fluid and, and replacing it so that your body can maintain. Be sure to take it easy when the sun is the strongest between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Reporting for KX News, I'm Natalie Gomez. People under the age of four and over the age of 65 are at the greatest risk for heating.